Let us familiarize ourselves with the constitutive equations describing the behavior of a capacitor by looking at example one. Given our voltage as a function of time in the graph below, we want to determine the current as a function of time running through our capacitor given our capacitance is equal to one millifarad. To do such, we need a functional description of our voltage as a function of time. For all time less than zero, we're going to assume the voltage potential across our capacitor is equal to zero. In the time interval zero to one seconds, our voltage is increasing linearly from zero to 10 volts. That is, our voltage is equal to 10T. In the time interval from one to two seconds, our voltage is decreasing from 10 volts to zero volts. If we construct an equation of a line describing this behavior in the interval from one to two seconds, our equation is y is equal to mx plus b. m is our slope, which is minus 10, x is t, and b is our y-intercept when x is equal to zero, or 20 volts. After two seconds, we are assuming our voltage is equal to zero. Now to determine our current running through the capacitor, we need to differentiate our voltage with respect to time. The derivative of zero with respect to time is zero. The derivative of 10t with respect to t is 10. The derivative of 20 minus 10t is minus 10. And the derivative of zero with respect to t is zero. Now to determine our current, all we have to do is multiply the time rate of change of voltage by our capacitance. C times zero is zero. C times 10 is 0 0.01. C times minus 10 is minus 0 0.01 and c times zero is zero.